we all talk a lot about networking, and that's why you're all here today. You obviously know how to network. That's why you showed up. That's one of the reasons NISA exists, and one of the big reasons why many people join NISA as a membership organization, the professional society in the New York metropolitan area for people in the financial sector. But networking just doesn't stay here. Who else do you know? And I mean everybody. The people you know from this job, the people you know from previous jobs, your friends, your relatives, personal assistants, personal lawyers, accountants, hairdressers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You may even contact people who were your supervisors or managers at a previous job. You should keep in contact with them because they are very useful, they're very helpful. Um, you never burn your bridges when you leave a position because in the future you never know when you're going to be able to speak to that person. That person may have leads for you. That person may be a reference for you. I was hired by the same person twice, 10 years apart in two different situations. I was not, um, I kept in touch with the person. She was my boss when she was president of the College of Insurance and then she was my boss when she was executive director at the Risk and Insurance Management Society. We weren't socially connected. We weren't friends in that sense. We were professional colleagues, but you never know. So it's always good to keep in contact with people over the years, in touch, once in a while, send an email, Christmas card, whatever.